Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to be working on the speed transmission. Uh, if you didn't see the last video where we installed the torque amplifier, I'll link that up above. So today we're going to be installing the main shaft and then finishing up any other knickknacks we got to do before we put it back into the tractor. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, that went in pretty easy. Um, we'll go ahead and bolt this main shaft down with the four bolts here. All right, we got that all bolted down in there. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, just gonna take a minute here and show you if you wanted to see how your gears worked here. Uh, go ahead and this will be first if we slide these gears all the way back here. I'll go ahead and spin the in input shaft. Uh, you can see here. And if we slide this gear up, mesh down here, we'll have second gear. And this here gear will be third. And finally, uh, we slide it all the way forward to the quill here. That'll be fourth gear. Just to give you a little idea how it works inside there. All right, now that we got the main shaft and all the gears installed, we can actually lock the transmission from spinning if we lock two gears together. That way I can get onto this counter shaft nut and really torque it down. The high capacity wants you to go ahead and torque that nut down. And after you got it all the way tight, to back it off and then just snug it up and drill and put a roll pin through this nut and counter shaft. So I've been kind of debating on whether to do that or not, but I called their tech support and they said they highly recommend it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot then we won't have to worry about it. Uh, you can tell there's no real good way to get a drill in here straight so we're gonna have to put it in at just a slight angle um, and uh, hope for the best there so let's go ahead and get to work on that Go ahead and try to get this uh, hole drilled into this nut and counter shaft and uh, install that roll pin.
a little dab of grease there so it catches most of those metal shavings. Well, there we go. That nut was a little softer than I thought it was, so drilled pretty easy. Just take your time. The only thing, you don't want to get any metal shavings in that bearing. Now we'll go ahead and get the roll pin and knock it in there. Well, there we go. We got the roll pin installed. You can see it there. And uh, we're not gonna have to worry about that nut backing off. So let's go ahead and uh, bend these tabs over on this lock and washer and we'll be done with that part. If you ever worked on any of these tractors, uh, know any tips or tricks to the trade uh leave a comment down below uh, i'm always learning so it's uh nice when i can learn a little bit more and uh just makes my life easier all right let's go ahead and get back to the back to work all right we got that lock washer all beat down there this nut is not going anywhere 100 percent so got all that ready to go uh Next thing we'll do is uh, put the rest of this stuff together up front here. Uh, put the PTO shaft on there and get it all bolted in and get that stuff finished up. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, we got that all tightened up. I'm gonna wait and uh, put the clutch fork and assembly all together later. Uh, all right, we're gonna start installing these uh, three hydraulic tubes in here. First, I'm gonna just run a little half inch pipe cleaner through this hole just to get it all cleaned up. Next. I'm just gonna put one o-ring on the outside for now uh, I got some high trans fluid up here I'll just lube it up and uh, we're gonna push it through the hole here and then I'm gonna put the o-ring on from inside so we don't have to push it all the way through this housing all right we got that that o-ring on there so we'll just some more hot trans fluid and get a good lubed up in there so we don't tear it when we push it through all right we'll push it in as far as we can uh, and we'll take my dead blow or what's left of it just tap it on in there We got our three tubes in there. Everything went in pretty easy. Uh, top tube goes in a little further than the rest of them, but they're all bottomed out, so not really sure why that is, but I guess that's just how it is. You know, if you know anything about it, you can leave a comment below, but uh, looks like everything is good to go on that. Uh, you can see all the O-rings that come with this uh, torque amplifier kit from high capacity. Uh, they all come in one bag, so, you know, it would been helpful if they would have separated the O-rings because there's a lot of O-rings that are similar size to the ones that go through them tubes, but not quite. Anyway. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wait to put all the shift forks and everything in this transmission until we get it back bolted to the tractor, just, just so it's out of the way. Uh, so I guess that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date on this uh, project. And uh, we, the next video we're gonna be doing, we'll be, we'll be shoving this thing in the tractor. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.